This video was sponsored by Squarespace, an all-in-one platform to help you build your online presence, complete with tools for online stores, marketing, and analytics. Oh, hey. Okay, it's about time for a few new tour. I've set up uh, my base of operations here for a while now, and um, you guys have seen parts of it, but I haven't really done a proper tour, so since I'm showing Jay's around today, you guys are welcome to tag along. So this is the bathroom, nothing nothing to see here. It's right by the door. It doesn't even have a proper door handle. Yep, nothing to see here. Um, odd way to welcome people. I don't know, I just set up my charging station here. This is where all my batteries get charged. You know what, I'm diving into this too quickly. Let me just like show you guys an overview of the place first. So it's actually a very small space. It's about 500 square feet. Like this plane we're looking at right now is only about 300 square feet. And the one up top is just over 100 something square feet. And all of them add up together to make about 500 square feet. So it's a tiny, tiny space. You're looking at this through a very wide angle. So it probably looks huge, but you could probably do like two and a half hand spans and that's it. Also, I think I've read a few comments on my videos about my place being extremely luxurious so people think I'm like filthy rich or anything. The reason I rented this place is because it is the cheapest place in town. Like in USD equivalent, I'm paying less than $250 a month rent for this place. So I'm not like, I know this place looks pretty nice, pretty upscale. It, it really isn't, but the reason I'm renting this place is because it is the cheapest place in town and it's a bonus that it looks presentable. Um, nice huge two-story windows that go all the way up to the top, so lots of natural light, uh, really high ceiling, really like it, but in hindsight it's giving me some serious reverb issues when I'm filming. Also, it's mad hot with um, windows this big. So if we come here, this is probably what you guys see a lot in my videos. This is the state of my desk when I'm not filming. Actually, I did tidy up a little bit before this, so it's usually piled up with stuff. So quick setup tour, I guess. Uh, iMac 2019, very self-sustained. Uh, it's connected to my audio interface. This is an Apogee Quartet. This is a Dell 25-inch monitor, and that is hooked up to my Windows rig down there. So I'm actually running two systems, Mac OS and Windows, side by side. What happened? Okay, I, I, I don't think this is something to brag about, but I have three mice and three keyboards. Let me explain. Oh, plus a magic trackpad. That's four. So this is the Apple Magic Mouse. This is for the Mac, obviously. This is the original Logitech MX Master. This is for editing. And this is for the Windows. So keyboards, magic keyboard, usual stuff. Um, wireless Logitech keyboard for the Windows, but it's not the best keyboard, but it's wireless. So, if I want the best keyboard experience, Corsair K70 MX Cherry Blue. It is filled with dust right now because I haven't used this in a while, but it's a great keyboard. A huge TV here. It's not that big. It's a 55 inch uh, Sony TV. It's all right. Oh, that's not actually mine. That's an Apple HomePod. It's the Apple HomePod you usually see in Lens Library, but just thought I'd um, kidnap it to the studio. But we don't care about this, we care about this! Oh, um, yeah, no idea what that is, it's like covered in dust. Z production for hundreds thousand subscribers. Okay, I think I know what's up with this. I think some YouTuber came by and left this here. No idea why they would do that. <laughs> um, Google Home Beanie. I like this. Big one, guys. Big one. Um, beneath the stairs here is where you don't usually see my videos because it's precisely located to be in the blind spot of all the cameras. So this is where all the mess gets shoved into. All the boxes, all the little gear that I don't always use that gets shoved into here. Because if you look at it from this angle and a little down below, it's perfectly hidden. You don't see any of it. But the moment you walk over here, it's like, what on earth is going on here? So it's all the gears and the box and the tripod and yep. the light stands. You can just simply grab something. It's my worth a lot. Yeah, and I won't probably won't even notice if you grab something and just. I can do it like that. <laughs> Glass handrails on the stairs as well. I know it looks really premium for a place that costs less than two hundred and fifty dollars a month. Uh, it's great for camera. That's why I picked this place. But still, probably the most impractical 
handrails for stairs. It's like having knife blades as a handrail when you run your hands through them. Looks nice, not practical. We obviously see a big light dome here so with your lighting. Oh yeah, this is the usual filming gear. So this is my old school Aperture 120T with the light dome 2 and C100 Mark II, Rail Link Wireless, the boom pole on the C stands and all that stuff. Where you kept your cameras and lenses? Uh? Is, is oh. this the only set? Um, this is the main camera. There's another USR lying around here. This is the Sony A6400. This is on loan to me from Sony. And this is ah, where the rest of the gear there you goes. Have them. All right. It's not a lot, um, says the person who runs Lens Library. <laughs> Like, like Lens Ari is gonna look at this and be like No, 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 no Perfect analogy of how much gear I have compared to Lens Library Oh man, <laughs> that's not right That's just not right guys, alright Okay, that was a coffee bean, let me show you the coffee corner uh, This is not really a kitchen, this is more of a pantry area uh, and I have an espresso machine in the studio because coffee should be a basic human right. Leave a comment down below if you agree with that. I want one. You want one? Okay, we'll get one later. We'll get one later. Yeah. Promise. We'll get one later. Also, shout out to my Akaya Lunar. Best coffee scale ever. I always use it for measuring not coffee. Um, so, in terms of coffee selection, we've got two blends. Uh, one of them's called Caramel Popcorn, the other one's called Milky Way. So, just a quick shout out to these two coffee brands, amazing stuff. Oh, um, that's my Atomus water bottle. And I also keep a bottle of the Hot Ones Last Dab sauce in the studio, because I'm a fellow Hot Ones fan as well. Leave a comment down below if you watch Hot Ones as well. Great. This sauce, I mean, the, the sauce tastes great, but the effects of it, not so great. Mini siphon. Yeah, mini siphon, um, snack bar. So what is come in there? I'm not sure they're ready to see that. You um, sure? Why not take a guess, guys? Take yeah, a guess you know what's what? hidden inside. I don't think you guys already see that, but take a guess and leave a comment down below what you think is behind here. Once the correct answer is unveiled, Z will post it in Instagram. Okay. A photo you know what? of what's deep inside. Okay, okay. I have the most amazing fridge magnets in the world. It's the Aperture ALMC, which I just recently reviewed. So go ahead and check that out. Upstairs, I don't really want to show you guys upstairs. I mean, I can give you guys a quick glance because it's really where all the stuff that's not really presentable downstairs goes. And it's like the sleeping quarters. If uh, I'm having an overnight edit at the studio or like it's, it's the hideaway zone. So it's really, a huge mess. Nothing much going on. Uh, this is a lamp that you always see as the practicals in the background of my videos. I've actually hooked it up to my Google Home Mini so I can go, okay Google, uh, turn on my lights please. Next moment. Ooh, hey, hey, there. One thing that I haven't really shown you guys on the channel, uh, this is my chill out kit. Not this. Not this. 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 Um, this is a Sennheiser HDVA 600 amplifier, so it's actually hooked up all the way to my Apogee Quartet. So I've, I've actually got cables run behind all this that feeds out of my uh, Spotify or Tidal. And this, these are my uh, wind down headphones. There's like three claw marks here because my cat scratched it the last time around. These are the Sennheiser HD 800s. Judging by the amount of dust on the box, I don't have a lot of time to listen to it, but they do sound amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> I got them on sale. I got them on sale. I got them on like mad sale. Like I would never have gotten them. So yeah, this is the studio. You could literally fit in the whole studio with one wide angle from this corner. You know what? Let's actually do that. So if you stand right there. And that's the dead corner. Let's turn it back. So yeah, that is my whole studio. One wide angle and you can see literally my whole damn studio. That is how small it is. Oh yeah, as promised, let's get some coffee. How not to do latte art. You're welcome to school me in the comments. Okay, that's good. <laughs> 
So I've shown you around my little space where I've set up my little business, but if you're also looking for an online space to set up yours, I would recommend giving Squarespace a try. They really do make setting up an online presence really easy, and it could be anything from a portfolio website to a full-fledged online store. Squarespace's services really do cut the hassle, and they take care of everything for you throughout the process of setting it up. They take care of stuff like domain names, hosting, SEO, so you don't have to worry about them. Designing a professional looking website with Squarespace is also really easy with their user-friendly website builder. They've even got features like providing detailed analytics for your site, appointment scheduling, and even tools for e-commerce. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you are ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash zproductions to get 10% off your first purchase of a domain or a website. So thank you all so much for coming over to visit the place. And it was a huge shout out to Jace from Lens Library for coming over as well. He is that same guy who taught me to fly a drone for the first time alongside Locke. And speaking of Locke, Locke is actually coming to another CreatorCon event really soon. And get this, with Kai. He's coming to CreatorCon with Kai. So this event is happening on the 16th of November, same place as the previous CreatorCon events, CO3 Social Office in Puchong, that is where Lens Library is. So the early bird tickets are on sale right now, I'll leave a link below as well. They are going for 80 Malaysian ringgits per ticket, and once the early bird is over, it's 100 Malaysian ringgit per ticket. I am personally completely hyped up about this event because Kai and Locke. Do I need to say more? Kai and Locke. So that is all for today. If you enjoyed today's video, do consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon for more videos just like this. And I'll see you in the next video. But until then, here's another video of mine YouTube things you should watch. Or if you don't like a computer telling you what to watch, here's one of my latest videos.